Slack attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim. We are doing the College of Winterhold quest line. We're on the Good Intentions quest. Our current objective is to find the Augur of Dunlane. Um, I know exactly where he is, but uh, just, you know, for posterity, we're going to ask around the College of Winterhold, which is what you're supposed to do if you never played through it before. I'm ask everybody sure if they know anything about the Augur from the of Order. Dunlane. Here after all, Starting what with you learn here will last you a lifetime. The Several Archmage. Have you ever heard of the Augur of Dunlane? Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Okay. All right. Thanks a load. Ha! <laughs> for nothing. Alright. The pers best person to ask is Mirabelle. Mirabelle can be found in the Hall of Attainment, usually. Or she's like just standing out, like in the middle of the courtyard there, waiting for new students. Like right here is where she might be found. It is now, oh, it's early in the morning, she's probably having breakfast, so let's go um, to the Hall of Attainment, which is right over here. And she's probably up on the second floor in the little hallway there having breakfast. There she is right there. Mirabelle! If there are any problems, let me know. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. Okay, that's nice. Have you ever heard of the Augur of Dunlane? That's nothing you need to concern yourself with. Okay, and if you have a high enough speech skill, you can twist your arm for a little bit of more information. Can you please help me find this Augur? Here's the 20. <laughs> 20 won't do it? Okay, here's 50. Very well. There we go. It's not something often discussed, as it might be misunderstood by the locals. The auger is down in the Min, below the college. I don't recommend going down there unless it's absolutely necessary. There we go. So we know where the auger of Dunlane is. He's in the Midden. We've been there before when we went to use the Atronach Forge to make our staff a Storm Atronach. Let's just go there again. Two ways to get to the Midden. One is just use this trapdoor right next to the Hall of Elements entrance, or you could go to the Hall of Accountant. It's the trapdoor in the back of that as well. Let's go this way. All right, shields up, Scotty. There's probably not going to be any um, bad guys on the way there, on the way back to Rupi. So once you come in this way, you can see me coming like by this method. Uh, drop on down here, turn to your right. Sometimes there's a drogger there if you haven't taken care of him already. Drop on down here, go down the stairs, swing it on around to this door here, and find the midden. No, I know. Open this door. And here is the Midden Dark. That's what you're looking for, right? Go in here. And we're going to continue on down across this big ice bridge here. And... Uh-oh. I forgot about the, uh, the ice wraith. Okay, first of all, let's get some incinerate happening. This will cook them up right nicely. Back off, Ice Raid. There you go. Let's continue on this way. Up here. Right through here. Ignore all the warnings if you get any, and go up to this Your door here. Perseverance will only lead to disappointments. I'm still here. Still, you persist. <laughs> Very well. You may enter. All right, and activate the auger of Dunlane. So, you're the auger of Dunlane. I am that which you have been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. It has already begun. Okay, care to elaborate? Those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you seek. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> riddles, riddles, riddles. And what is it I'm seeking? You seek that which all who wield magic seek. Knowledge. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Anything else? You shall find this. Knowledge will corrupt. Uh -huh. It will destroy. It will consume. You seek meaning, shelter in knowledge. You will not find it. I beg to differ. The Thalmor sought the same thing. And it shall lead to his end, as it has so many others. Wait a minute. The Thalmor? What Thalmor? The one who calls himself Ancano. Oh. That he seeks information about the eye, but what he will find shall be quite different. Insert diabolical laughter. <laughs> Cross yours in time, but first you must find that which you need. Okay, uh, more riddles. What do I need? You and those aiding you. Wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. That is correct. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. What disaster? Ha <laughs> ha. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Oh, okay. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center, so you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. Well, once again, thanks a lot for, well, this knowledge, quote, end quote. Alright, so we have to return to the Archmage. Um, if we try to retrace our steps, we're going to come up against a wall, which we can't climb because we jumped down and there's no stairs to get back. Um, so let's go this way. Let's take the scenic route through the midden. And we'll exit out the back door of the Midden, and we can just fast travel from there once we're outside. There's going to be a couple of skeletons here. Be ready. Here's this alchemy skill book here, and a sweet roll. Oh boy. I'm going to leave the alchemy skill book alone because I don't want to use it now. Take care of bones and bone stew. Doubt they'll have anything useful except. Oh, bone meal, yeah. For his bones too. Okay, let's go through this door. This has to do with another quest which is connected with the Atronach Forge once you get up to level 90 in alteration if I recall correctly. Which we're not going to do. And we can just continue on down here. Alright, don't forget the uh, hanging moss. Very useful. And here you're gonna have to blast your way through these kind of webbing here. Blast or hack your way through whatever you got as a weapon. A little bit of spider action up ahead here. That's it. White cap. Sometimes these barrels have ingredients. So check them. Wow, score. Both of them. And this is what we're looking for. This passage here. This'll pass this will pass under the ice bridge that we passed over earlier. And eventually take us outside. To the back door of the midden. Alright? Now that we're officially outside, we just fast travel back to the College of Winderhold. Voila. She goes down, Scotty. Let's go talk to the Archmage and give him the news. <laughs> All right, Archmage, dude. Guess what? What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. I love that line. <laughs> I have important information for you. Really? Yes. And what might that be? Uh, we need to find the staff of Magnus. 
I'm sorry, what? The staff of Magnus. Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff. <laughs> Wouldn't all men. But I'm not uh, really uh, sure that any of us need it. What are you talking about? The women love it. But Okay, just kidding. Um, it's connected to the orb we found. And how do you know of this? I spoke with the Augur of Dunlane. Did you really? Yes, I did. And he specifically mentioned the Staff of Magnus? Yes, he did. I, I'm impressed with your initiative. <laughs> well, thank you. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. And by someone, I hope you mean me. I certainly do. Oh, thank you, finally. Since you went so far as to seek out the Augur for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. All right. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. Okay, it gives you the major circlet, which gives you plus 70. I hope Mirabelle is Magica, and that completes the quest, Good Intentions. This is, of course, useless to us. We can just sell it. Uh, but if you're playing on the lower difficulty setting, you might find that very useful. Let's just go stash that. And... Find Mirabelle. Give on Kano a wide berth. We've heard about you. Huh. We want anything to do with you, man. You're the dreaded Thalmor, who is a spy, and... Is that Mirabel? No. And up to other suspicious activity. Mirabel! Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay, um, do you know anything about the, <clears throat> quote, Staff of Magnus, end quote? Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? Uh, because it may be connected with the Eye of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus? Yeah. I can appreciate that this thing, this orb, it's very impressive, very unique, and definitely worth studying. But let's not jump to any conclusions or assign it importance beyond what we're certain of. All right. Um, well, the Augur referred to it as the Eye of Magnus, not me. The Augur. Just what have you gotten yourself involved in? Whatever is going on, whatever you're up to, be very careful. Don't worry. We know what we're doing. So, um, the Staff of Magnus? Well, it's said to be very powerful. Okay. Has the capacity to store an incredible amount of magical power, as Ooh. the story goes. Oh. But it's more myth than anything at this point. Ah. I've no doubt that it actually exists, but no one has seen it in, what, decades? Longer? I'm not sure. The only time I've heard it mentioned was when those Synod characters showed up some months ago looking for it. Synod characters. Okay, indulge me. Who are the Synod? Mages based out of Cyrodiil. Oh, those guys, okay. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. Oh, I was quite okay. surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. So, no one knows the staff's location? No one here does. Oh. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but Mizulft. that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mazulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Alright. To Mazulft and beyond. Find the ruins of Mazulft. Where's Mazulft? Mr. Map. Mr. Map says it's right there. That's one of those Skyrim names that they just put too many consonants in. Mazulft. Muzzle top. There we go. <laughs> Let's settle for that. <laughs> no disrespect intended to those of Hebrew origins. Um, 
I just like that word. <laughs> Puzzle top. Why don't you dig yourself deeper, Slack? Okay, I'll dig myself deeper. No, no, I know what muzzle top means. I'm not using it like muzzle top, an expression of uh, good fortune used at like you know, like as a kind of like a you know, congratulations. You know, you just completed your bar mitzvah, muzzle top, or you just got married, muzzle top, stuff like that. I've, I've seen it in movies. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm not Jewish though. But it really got off on a tangent there. Okay, well that, that won't happen again. Sorry. Um, make sure you bring. <laughs> make sure you bring some lock picking potions, and your lock picking gloves. And we don't need this. Don't need that. That might be useful. Don't need that. And everything else is coming along. I'm gonna dump the ingredients. Where we're going is uh, a dwarven metal. Mecca. It is in fact the largest source of dwarven metal in the entire game. Mazalt. AKA Muzzle Top. Yeah, this place here. There's like 400 plus dwarven metal. Um, or rather, the equivalent of 400 plus dwarven metal ingots to be found in here. It's found. Mostly in the form of Dwemer metal pieces that have to be smelted down to Dwarven metal ingots. But yeah, there is a ton here. So if you want to do some major smithing, we're not going to do this. I'm just going to leave it all there. Because in order to take advantage of that, I'd have to put a perk point into steel and then a perk point into Dwarven smithing. But you could level up smithing um, very rapidly with all that Dwarven metal. Right? So... If you want to take advantage of that, uh, make sure you got lots of carry weight, lots of spare carry weight, carry weight, and bring a follower. I think we have everything we need. Let's uh, set candle light to number eight because we're not going to need command danger in this run. We are, however, going into some dark places, so that's that. Um, number two, do we have lock picking potions on board? Yes, we do. That's it. We're ready to rock. Now, in this area, Mazalft, the first part is full of dwarven automatons. Those kind of like robotic, those bronzes, bronzish robotic enemies like the spiders and the roly poles and stuff like that. They cannot be detected by the detect light or the detect dead spell. So neither of those will be or will be useful. Um, I just want to get out of the way here so I can wait. Yeah, I just fast travel to the street steam crate camp. Still can't wait because I'm close to that dragon. We're going to take down that dragon because that's going to be very useful. There we go. Let's wait. Get some light on the situation. Oh, these guys. Yeah. Uh, I think they want a little bit of ice for him. Yeah. And they also like to have time to. Cast Dragon Height. Stand down, Frost. We're on it. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Here they come. Hi there. You there? You're the one they call Dragonborn. Yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. I beg to differ. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he pulled that off. And I do need... Wait, okay, yeah. Hit 
Okay, once again, the wrong health bar is showing. Okay, that's one down. Time out. Time out. Oh. Cross, get off that. <laughs> Cross, he's not your type. Just leave him alone. Okay, let's work on this guy. Time out for you. One hand on you. There we go. And you guys actually have some valuable robes. These cultist robes. We'll take those. And that's all because we want to save our carry weight. <laughs> Can't handle a hooping from a horse, eh? Call yourself a cultist. Okay, let's put you out of your misery. Sorry, Frost. Okay, stand down. Stand down. Count to three if you understand. <laughs> There's the one after two. Okay, whatever. Here we go. Uh, the staff for reanimate. Oh, that looks like it's worth a pretty penny. We'll take that. The cultist robes. And you can take everything else to Sovngarde with you or wherever it is that cultists go when they die. I think I almost looted two of them. Here we go. Cultist orders and the robes. This is to do with the Dragonborn DLC, which we've already done. There we go. So that's that. Now, um, we want that dragon because we're fresh out of souls. And what I want is to activate the Aura Whisper Shout. Because, as I said, we cannot use Detect Life or Detect Dead. But the Aura Whisper Shout... Um, will detect Dwarven Automaton, so that's going to be very useful. So, a little bit of Thunderbolt for Mr. Dragon. Oh my gosh! Back off! Back! Time out! I thought I saw a booty cat! I did! I did see a booty cat! Okay. Let's get close to the dragon and then cast Dragon Hide just in case he tries to, to munch on us. Right right now. Oh my gosh. Get up. Where are you going? I'm not finished with you yet. I <laughs> gotcha. Let me get up here. Come on down, boy. Now die. There we go. Got ourselves a soul. Plate skeet. Play cheapskate on the dragon bones. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, give me my dragon soul. Come on, cop it up, game, had a boy. Shouts. Aura whisper. One, please. Very good. Let's favorite it. And activate it. Okay, that's what we're going into Mazalt with for the first part. All right, let's make our way over there by on foot because there's lots of uh, dragon's tongue. Wait a minute, something is. Uh, don't want that. There we go. Yeah. Lots of good ingredients to collect on the way. Dragon's tongue and creep cluster. And Jazz Bay Grapes. Let's get the Paralyzed Spell up and running just in case we get attacked by something or someone else. Leave the Giant's Camp alone. Cut him a little bit of slack this time. 
Here's some Jazz Bay grapes. Creek cluster. Typically, there's some, some kind of predator off to my right, right about here. It will probably be another uh, saber cat. No, it's a bear. Hey, bear. Go ahead, make your move. Time out. <laughs> I love when they do that. It's so funny. Okay, a little bit of soul trapping for you. And some shock therapy. Bad bear. Bad. Alright, so once you find these arches on your left here, this is the correct path to take to get up to Mazolt. I just follow the stairs over all the way up. On the way up, you're going to pass by the Dwarven storeroom. In here is about 50, the equivalent of 50 Dwarven metal ingots right there alone. But the real McCoy, the big bonanza, the big payoff, is in here, resolved. I'm going to collect these blue mountain flowers out here. There's a few around here. Here you go. There we go. We made it. Resolved. Or muzzle top. As you wish. <laughs> and that is coming up next video. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video when we take on the quest. Revealing the Unseen. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.